Organic groups is, as I mentioned, is something that is uh, well a module that is used for managing uh, kind of sites within your site. Uh, usually, it's a way to manage access to different uh, types of content to, on your site, uh, putting them in groups and uh, allowing some people to have access to them or to post and contact in groups and stuff like that. There are a num number of other modules or other solutions for doing this in Drupal as well. Uh, we well. We have here organic groups, of course, uh, the one we're going to look at. Uh, we have a suite of modules called Domain Access, which are pretty cool, built by the uh, awesome team over at Palantir. Uh, domain Access is uh, particularly good if you want to have separate domain names for your site and also has some uh, well cool uh, features. I, I'm no expert at all in Domain Access, but it's one of the modules that you should check out if you want to have uh, some kind of multi-site setup uh, where you share content or users uh, between sites and, and want to have particular uh, ways of making that work. Another way of uh, restricting access on your site de depending on uh, different sections and stuff is the workbench module or, or suite of modules uh, also uh, created by the awesome people over at Palantir. Uh, it's a way to, well, Workbench has a module called Workbench Access that allows you to um, uh, restrict access, well, my, right now I think it's it's editing and publishing access uh, for, for different uh, sections on your site and you build those these sections in a hierarchical structure. There's a screencast about that uh, over at uh, the learning library if you're interested. There's also one approach that is pretty interesting if you use Drupal and that is to make a multi-site installation. Uh, in your Drupal installation you have sites and then usually you have this all folder and the default folder as well. Uh, you can here, well, if you make a multi-site installation you can have it here example1.com and example2.com and have these run partially or, or completely on, on separate databases. But you can also share well, share data between sites uh, in some cool ways. I haven't actually done this myself, uh, so again, I'm no expert in how to do it, but it's one of the approaches that you should check out if you want to create a, a multi-site solution for uh, with Drupal. Right. I hope that's um, kind of... Um, enlightening for you. Uh, organic groups is a way to use, well, usually it's something you use when you want to restrict access, uh, posting access and reading access and stuff like that uh, to groups on your site. Organic groups is called so because uh, it should be able to, it should be possible to create new groups and have them grow organically. Uh, these are actually used at groups.drupal.org uh, which is currently a Drupal 6 site uh, and well and all these groups I think let's see it doesn't say here well it's like uh, really a lot of groups here um, uh, and you, it's po possible to create new groups here as well and register them and have people joining them and posting content and sharing content getting updates and whatever and what and what not. Uh, however, this is built by uh, on, on Drupal 6 and it's good to know that organic groups has have had a major overhaul between Drupal 6 and Drupal 7. Uh, the guy here, Amitai Bu, Amitai Burstein, uh, did a really great job of doing that. So head over to organic groups and uh, get, show him some appreciation. I'm posting a link to do that in the screencast. Uh, great guy. Also thanks to Moshe Weizmann, uh, the main uh, man behind organic groups of Drupal 6 and 5. He did a great job with the technology available at the time, uh, but the uh, organic groups in Drupal 7 just rocks. Uh, cool solution, as we'll see in the future screencasts. Um, yeah, see you there.